Many citizens in different parts of the country are continuing cleanup operations today after their homes were inundated by flood waters over the weekend. However, the citizenry is mobilizing in a show of support, which proves that we are in fact our brother's keeper. Dion Batiste has more in this report. The northbound lane of the Uriah Butler Highway is open to two-way traffic from the Grand Bazaar Interchange until approximately 800 meters after the Karani flyover. Now some part of the highway is still underwater. In one area, a car can be seen almost totally submerged. That was just before 7 this morning. There has been a slow but steady improvement since then. Commissioner of Police Gary Griffith said the Uriah Butler Highway could soon be open to all vehicular traffic. Meanwhile, relief efforts continue around the nation. Alderman Wade Coker said his team has been working non-stop to offer assistance where needed. Today, what we are doing, I think, uh, I think it's a marriage college and one or two other people uh, said that they want to drop off some other items and whatnot, you know, just for the relief program that is in place right now. Um, we also, from the corporation point of view, we turn up some labor up at um, the Puna Corporation and also Sandy Grandi. And uh, also our motor truck is up at the Puna Corporation as we speak right now, assisting with, you know, the washing down because, you know. Mr. Coker said the willingness to help our fellow citizens in need is evidence of how great a people we are. He was happy to know that people continue to visit City Hall in droves to drop off their donations. Responding to concerns about the proper dissemination of relief items, Mr. Coker said there are systems in place to ensure that the items are distributed to those in need. Dion Batiste, TTT News.